Dennis lived with his stepmom alone. His biological mother had divorced his father and left both Dennis and his dad when he was just 17 years old. A year later, his father married Clara, a woman only a few years older than Dennis himself. Dennis and Clara never got along, and their frequent fights resembled battles between cats and dogs. This animosity persisted even after Dennis's father tragically passed away in an accident a few years later, leaving them both behind. Despite their continuous clashes and openly expressed dislike for one another, they shared a deep, unspoken caring bond. Clara in her own way became more of a mother to Dennis than his biological mother ever was. Following Dennis's father's passing, Clara delved into a whirlwind of dating, seemingly changing boyfriends as frequently as one might change clothes. She explored relationships with individuals both young and old, creating a seemingly endless cycle of new partners. Dennis, growing accustomed to her behavior, became unfazed and indifferent when Clara introduced a new boyfriend into their home. Dennis had been in a loving relationship with his boyfriend for two years. However, one day, he decided to pay his boyfriend a surprise visit only to discover him cheating. His boyfriend was intimately involved with a girl he claimed to be his cousin before. Consumed by anger and without thinking, Dennis decided to engage in a casual encounter with someone else, driven by the desire to even the score. As Dennis was leaving his boyfriend's place, he encountered a food delivery guy making a delivery. He impulsively approached the delivery guy and asked, Would you like to spend the night with me? To his surprise, the delivery guy, with a grin, responded, Why not? I'd love to. They both decided to leave for a nearby hotel to pursue their rendezvous. Even though their encounter began as an act of revenge, it quickly evolved into something much more. Their connection felt incredibly passionate and intimate, like the lovemaking between two people deeply in love. After their passionate night, Dennis decided to leave the hotel early in the morning, while the stranger delivery guy was still asleep. He sent a breakup text to his now ex-boyfriend. When his ex-boyfriend received the message, he didn't bother to reply after seeing it. Leaving Dennis feeling like he had been the only one invested in the relationship, intensifying his anger. A few days later, Clara brought home a new boyfriend. Usually, Dennis didn't bother about the various men Clara brought home, but this time it was different. The new boyfriend she introduced was none other than the stranger, delivery guy he had been intimate with just a few days ago. When Theo, the delivery guy, saw Dennis, he walked up to him with a smile and extended his hand for a handshake, introducing himself. Nice to meet you again, he said with a mischievous grin. Clara, noticing the exchange, rushed over and asked if they knew each other. Dennis simply rolled his eyes, offered no response, and walked away. He couldn't believe that the person with whom he had been intimate out of anger and whom he thought he would never encounter again was now in his house. However, he didn't have the energy to worry about it. He also knew that the stranger, delivery guy, known as Theo, would soon be gone because Clara never stuck with one guy for more than a week. He was wrong. Two weeks and more passed, and Theo was still dating Clara even, living in the house with them. What annoyed Dennis the most was that Theo wasn't living in the house quietly and staying in his lane. He kept making advances towards Dennis, persistently, trying to flirt with him wherever he went. Theo intentionally walked around, the house shirtless, winking, and making suggestive faces at Dennis. He even asked Dennis if he'd like to have a two-night stand with him. Dennis inquired about what a two-night stand meant, to which Theo cheekily replied that since their first encounter was a one-night stand, a repeat performance would make it a two-night stand. Dennis couldn't help but wonder where Clara had found this guy and why she decided to date him for this long. While all of Clara's previous boyfriends had been less than stellar, Theo was in a league of his own. 
Ennis even regretted their encounter, despite how good it had felt. As Theo's persistent behavior continued, Dennis reached his breaking point and decided to have a serious talk with him. When he confronted Theo, asking why he kept flirting, despite dating Clara, Theo nonchalantly shrugged and replied, because I love you. Dennis retorted, stop lying, I know you don't love me, and it seems you don't love Clara either, so, what exactly do you want? Theo looked at Dennis, a sly grin on his face and said, since you're so curious, I'm going to tell you. He then shifted to a more serious expression and continued, I'm actually here to make Clara pay for what she did to my mom. My dad stole all my mom's life savings and left her only to come and date Clara, using my mom's hard-earned money on her. Now his mom has practically turned into a living dead. She does nothing but stare into the air, not wanting to eat or drink unless she is fed. His once joyful and loving mom is now gone. He can't just sit there and do nothing while the woman behind his mother's misery roams freely and happily. So, I got closer to Clara and came here so that I can also take everything away from her, just like she did to my mom. Dennis stared at Theo for a few seconds then asked, So, what does this have to do with me, and why are you pestering me? Theo replied, I wanted you to fall in love with me so that I can leave with you, taking everything Claire owns. So she'll know how it feels to lose everything and someone she loves. Dennis laughed heartily and retorted, Do you honestly think Clara would be devastated if I left? We despise each other and are practically strangers under the same roof. Besides, how old are you? Even a four-year-old wouldn't come up with a silly revenge scheme like yours. While I may not be fond of Clara, I can confidently say that she never pursues married men or uses men for their wealth. She rather stupidly spends on men which makes them take advantage of her. Theo inquired, are you defending her because she's your stepmother? Dennis chuckled in response, Clara is the last person in the world I'd defend. I'm just stating the facts. Maybe you should talk to your dad instead of wasting your time on this foolish revenge plan. Theo replied, do you think I'd be here if I knew where my dad was? He's probably spent all the money on Clara, and she's dumped him. So he's hiding somewhere, too ashamed to come back home, Dennis retorted. Why do you assume instead of finding the truth? Why not ask Clara directly for the truth instead of wasting your time here? You could be using this time to take care of your mom and help her return to the once smiley and loving mom you know. Just then, Clara appeared and asked if they were talking about her because she heard her name. Without wasting a second, Dennis turned to Clara and asked if she had dated Theo's father while she knew he was still married. Clara replied, First of all, I don't date married men, and secondly, who is Theo's father? Theo told her his father's name, and then Clara replied, Oh, that man. We only dated for like two days. He kept asking me for a huge sum of money when we had only been dating for like a day. And he didn't tell me what he wanted to use the money for, so I dumped him. Dennis then turned to Theo and said, See, I told you. Clara, with a confused face, asked what was going on. Dennis, with a laugh explained, Theo was seeking revenge, thinking you were involved with his dad, who spent his mom's money on you. Clara, her expression now, filled with remorse, addressed Theo, saying, I'm genuinely sorry. I had no idea your father was married, and I can assure you that I never accepted any money or gifts during the two days we dated. Theo responded, It's all right. I've come to realize how foolish my revenge plan was, and I should be the one apologizing for my actions. Dennis asked Theo, Wait, was sleeping with me also part of your revenge plan? Clara, looking surprised, interjected, You'd have slept with each other. Theo, I thought you said you wanted to wait till marriage and you never even kissed me. Theo replied to Clara, I'm sorry, but I can't be intimate with someone I don't have feelings for. Dennis playfully remarked to Theo, Come on, you practically devoured me when we were complete strangers 
and now, you're telling me you can't be, intimate with someone you, don't have feelings for? Theo smirked and quipped, well, maybe it was love at first sight. Dennis chuckled and responded, love at first sight, my foot. Dennis then asked Theo what, he was going to do now that, he was no longer pursuing his revenge. Theo, with a sad expression, replied, honestly, before I didn't, know what to do. Maybe that's why I decided on this, revenge planet made me feel, like I was doing something. Right now, I'm still not sure what to do, I don't know how to help my mom. Dennis then placed his hand on Theo's shoulder and said, I can help you if you want. Clara entered and said, yeah, count me in two. Dennis turned to Clara saying, you are the last person his mom should be seeing right now. Clara responded, that's why, I want to help. Theo became, emotional, thanking them for, offering to help. In the following days, the three of them tried, everything they could to lift, Theo's mom's spirits. They sought medical, assistance and provided, emotional support themselves. At first, it seemed like nothing, was working. But over time, they began, to witness improvements in, Theo's mom's behavior. Clara took Theo's mom with, her every time she went out, for shopping and other ladies' activities. It wasn't easy convincing her, to join at first, but with time and effort, they managed to encourage, her to participate. Meanwhile, Theo and Dennis, continued to do their best to, make her laugh and engage in, activities at home. As they continued spending, time together, Dennis and Theo grew closer with each passing day. What once seemed annoying, to Dennis became endearing, and he found Theo cute, funny, and a loving son. Dennis began to develop feelings for Theo, but he wasn't certain, about Theo's feelings towards him. Theo's mom gradually, returned to her cheerful self, and they all formed a strong, bond, like a big, happy family. Theo's flirtatious behavior continued, but Dennis couldn't, quite discern if he was serious, or just playfully teasing. For Theo's mom's birthday, they hatched a plan to surprise her at home. Clara's role was to take Theo's mom out for a while, while Dennis and Theo set up the surprise at home. Once everything was ready, they turned off the lights, waiting for Theo's mom to return so they could unveil the surprise by turning on the lights. After finishing the preparations for the surprise, Dennis and Theo switched off the lights, eagerly awaiting Theo's mom's return. They planned to illuminate the room and unveil the surprise as soon as she entered. As they sat in the dimly lit room, Theo cheekily pulled Dennis's chair closer to his, smirking mischievously. He teasingly remarked, this atmosphere is just right for a two-night stand. Dennis, in response, rolled his eyes and quipped, you're crazy. Theo, still grinning, replied, crazy for you. However, Dennis looked at him with a more serious expression and said, if you're just playing around with me, please stop. Theo replied, what if I'm being serious? Dennis remained, skeptical and responded, no, you're not. You've been playing around, with me like this ever since, you came to my house. Theo then confessed, how do, you know I wasn't serious back then. Honestly, I fell for you, since that first night we met. Dennis asked, wasn't flirting, with me part of your revenge plan? Theo replied, it was but my feelings for you were, and are real. They both fell silent for a moment, gazing into each other's eyes. Then Theo asked, what about you? What kind of feelings do you, have for me? Dennis, a bit flustered, inquired, what do you mean by that? Theo said, I like you, do you, like me the same way I like you? Dennis, with a playful grin, replied, what if I say I do? Theo then said, then I will, make you mine and treat you like the most precious thing person in the world. Dennis teased him, asking, are you calling me a thing? Theo, panicking and stuttering, with a nervous smile, clarified, no that's not what I mean. Dennis burst into laughter, and Theo also followed, laughing. When their laughter subsided, they fell into a comfortable silence, gazing into each other's eyes. Theo eventually broke the silence, asking, so, what do you, say about the two-night stand? Dennis responded, if it's just a two-night stand, that means, we don't have feelings for each other. 
In a soft, low, raspy voice, Theo continued, Oh, then, would, you like to make love? Dennis momentarily held, his breath, and when Theo noticed, he teased, You're not, breathing. Do you need CPR? Dennis exhaled, and at that moment, Theo's lips met his own. They shared a passionate kiss, but a few seconds and Dennis gently pushed Theo away, saying, We're supposed to be, waiting for your mom to come, and so we can surprise her. What if they walk in on us? Theo replied, They won't, we'll hear their footsteps when they're coming in. Without waiting for a reply, he kissed Dennis again. The two of them shared a passionate kiss, as if they had been hungry and craving each other. Their hands explored each, other's chests and stomachs, through their shirts as they continued to kiss. Theo, still kissing Dennis, effortlessly lifted him and placed him on the table. He stood between Dennis's legs, their kiss growing more intense, by the second. Theo's lips trailed from Dennis's, lips to his neck, placing soft, teasing kisses along the way. He playfully nibbled Dennis's neck, drawing a soft moan from him. As he continued to move his lips from Dennis's neck to the back of his ear, Dennis felt Theo's warm breath against his skin as he whispered, I love you. He then returned to Dennis's lips, their passion intensifying. Things were escalating quickly, and they were on the verge of removing each other's shirts. When the lights abruptly turned on, followed by a startled scream from Clara, Startled, they both quickly pulled, apart and Theo asking when Clara and his mom got in. Clara nervously replied that, they just got in and they didn't, see anything. The room went awkwardly, silent for a moment. Then Clara suddenly turned to Theo's mom and shouted, surprise. Dennis and Theo joined in, popping confetti. Theo's mom smiled and opened, her arms, signaling everyone, for a group hug. They all joined in for a group hug, sang the birthday song, and together they cut the cake. They were enjoying the moment, when the doorbell rang. Theo, went to open the door, and when he did, he found his father, standing there. Upon seeing his dad, he quickly, turned to look at his mom, and in a panic, he tried to close, the door in his dad's face to prevent, his mom from seeing him. However, it was already too, late, as Theo's mom had already, noticed his father's presence. She asked him to come in. When Theo's dad entered, he walked over to Theo's mother and held her hands, apologizing for his past actions. He explained that a friend had tricked him into gambling, and he promised that he would never repeat such behavior. However, Theo's mom withdrew her hands and told him that she had moved on. She expressed her desire to have nothing to do with him anymore, emphasizing that he had not even treated her well in the past. Theo's dad, rolled his eyes, and asked if they could at least, lend him some money. Angrily, Theo's mom told him, that she had no money to give him. He then turned to Clara and made, the same request. Theo, fed up with his father's, behavior intervened, grabbing his dad and forcefully pulling him, out of the house, promptly, shutting the door on his face. Theo hugged his mom, worried that she might go, back into her previous state again. But his mom patted his back and reassured him that she is really okay and has moved on. They all shared another group, hug and continued to enjoy the night. Later, after the birthday celebration, Theo and Dennis did continue what they had started. Dennis and Theo started dating. And Clara took a break from her previous dating habits, choosing to focus on self-improvement. She mostly spent her time with Theo's mom as the had now become best friends. They were no longer just Clara and Dennis, but had found a new family filled with love and happiness.